I would like to integrate um, x times the arc sine or the inverse sine of x um, divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. So, um, actually I, I did a previous video on this, um, actually not on integration but on differentiation where I showed that the derivative with respect to x of the sine inverse of x is 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to use this because um, this is this is the same thing as arc sine. Arc sine. So I see I see um, the um, the function itself, the arc sine of x, as well as its derivative um, sitting right beside it. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to substitute. Let me just do this. Okay. So I'm going to substitute that u, uh, let u be equal to the sine inverse of x, sine inverse of x, then we can take the sine of both sides, so we get sine of u is equal to x. Now um, from here I can take the deriv derivative of both sides, so I get du is equal to 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Okay, so where does this get get us? Uh, so this becomes the integral of x. x is sine u, right? Sine u times arc sine or the sine inverse of x, which is u. Oops. Um, times u over. Um, actually, not over, but uh, and and I can rewrite this as 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared dx, right? This this integral, right? Uh, I can write it like this. So basically, um, this becomes uh, the integral of u times the sine of u times this thing right here, this whole expression, 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx is du. Okay, so we have reduced the integral to this. So I think you know where we are going with this. So we simplified it to u times the sine of u du. Um, you, you guessed it, and we have to use integration by parts from now on. So um, just for just for uh, revision, I'll I will I will write, write the integration by parts. Um, formula here it says if we have an integral of of um, of a function of x times the derivative of a function um, of x then this is equal to equal to f of x g of x minus the integral of f prime of x times g of x dx. I've proven this in uh, my previous videos, so you can watch it for um, for this uh, proof of this theorem. Okay, so we are going to apply it now here. Okay, so now we have to carefully choose our f of x and g of x. So, what uh, which of these functions when I take the derivative of it becomes simpler. Um, if I take the derivative of sine of u, um, I'll get cosine of u, which is neither simpler nor nor uh, nor more complicated. But if I if I take this as my f of x, then later on I have to differentiate it, right? f of x, and here it is f prime of x. So later on I'll have to differentiate u, which uh, uh, rather gets us to one right the d derivative of u is one so that is a better choice for f of x so that is going to be my f of x and so this becomes my g of x this becomes my g of x so the whole integral now becomes according to this it is f of x f of x is u times g of x well oh sorry this is the prime of x 
that is oops okay so that is g prime of x okay sorry about that okay uh, yeah uh, that is g prime of x so uh, f of x times g of x now uh, then we have to integrate sine of u which gives us negative cosine of u and then minus the integral of of f prime of x which is 1 times g of x which is again negative cosine of u but I'll write cosine of u and take the negative out and that cancels with the minus and this becomes a plus and all of that times du so this simplifies to minus u cos u um, integral of cos u is sine u right plus the sine of u plus some constant and you think we are done but we aren't not quite because the original question was in terms of x so we have to get this uh, answer in terms of x so we'll use the um, uh, okay, we'll use this. We'll use this. Um, what we what we had substituted um, before to make this negative u. U is what um, sine inverse of u, right? Oh, sorry, sine inverse of x. Here it is. U is sine inverse of x. So this is sine inverse of x times cosine of u. Now cosine of u is square root of 1 minus sine squared of u. 1 minus sine squared, right? But sine squared is nothing but x squared. And then plus sine of u is x and then a constant. And we have done it. This is our final answer. This is our final answer to, oops, to, to this problem the integral of x arc sine of x divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared dx okay so i hope you like it and i'll see you in the next video